Hey, listen. What? I put it all on the line, that's true. And you know what? It wasn't a bad beat. I wasn't unlucky. I got outplayed. I got outplayed that time. But I know I'm good enough to sit at that table. It's not, it's not a fucking pipe dream. I don't doubt your talent. I never, I never told anybody this. About eight, nine months ago, I'm at the Taj and it's late and I see Johnny Chan walk in. And he goes, he sits 300, 600. And you know, the whole place stops. Johnny Chan walks in, everybody puts an eye on him. I mean, after a little while, you know, there, was, there wasn't a crap game going because all the high rollers are over there watching. And some of them are sitting there playing when they're giving away their money to this guy to say, oh, I played with a world champion. And you know what I did? What? I sat down. No, you need 50, 60 grand to play right in that game. Well, I had six, but I had to know. What happened? Played tight for an hour. I folded mostly, and then I made a score. Why are these the kings? Rags. I had nothing. But <laughs> he raised, and I, I just decided, you know, I don't care about the money. I'm just going to outplay the guy. I'm just going to outplay this guy this hand. I'll re-raise. Re-raise? You play right back at him, huh? Oh, yeah. And he just comes right back over the top of me, trying to bully me like I'm some fucking tourist. I hesitate for like two seconds. I'll re-raise. And he makes a move toward his checks, and he looks at me. And then he looks at his cards, and he looks at me again. And he mucked it. I took it down. Did you have it? I'm sorry, John. I don't remember. I got up and I walked to the cashier. I sat with the best in the world. And I won. Put a fucking move on Chan, you son of a bitch. So that's why you made that run at KGB's place. That's right. And I'll do it again if I can. Well, then I'm rooting for you, Mike. I'll see you around, Kanesha.